Did you know soil is not just dirt? It's a magical world full of life and mystery. Yes, indeed. Soil is a wondrous marvel of our environment, a hidden universe beneath our feet. Far from merely being dirt, it's a bustling metropolis of activity, a complex tapestry woven from many threads. You might be surprised to learn that soil is a mix of living and non-living components. The non-living parts include tiny fragments of rock, water and air. But that's not all. The living component of soil is a busy community of insects, worms, bacteria and other microorganisms. They all play an essential role in making the soil healthy and fertile. Soil is the foundation of life on Earth, the stage on which the drama of nature unfolds. It's the source of our food and the building block of our ecosystems. So the next time you look at the ground, remember. Soil, it's much more than it appears on the surface, don't you think? So, what makes up this magical world of soil? You might ask. Well, it's a marvelous mix of living and non-living components, each with its own important role to play. First, let's delve into the non-living components. These include tiny particles of rock and mineral, which we lovingly call sand, silt and clay. Sand is the largest of these particles and feels gritty. Silt is medium-sized and feels silky, while clay is the smallest and feels sticky when wet. These are the building blocks of soil, giving it structure and providing plants with essential minerals. But soil is not just a pile of rock particles. Water and air, the invisible heroes, fill the spaces between these particles. They are vital for plant growth. Water carries dissolved nutrients to the roots, while air provides the oxygen that roots need to breathe. Now let's turn our attention to the living components. This is where the soil really comes alive. Countless microorganisms, such as bacteria, fungi and worms, call soil their home. They break down dead plant and animal matter, transforming it into nutrient-rich organic matter, or humus. This humus gives soil a dark color and a sweet, earthy smell. It also improves the soil's ability to hold onto water and nutrients. Healthy soil is a balanced blend of these components. It has a crumbly texture that's easy to dig, a dark color indicating plenty of humus, and a pleasant, earthy smell. It's like a chocolate cake for plants, providing them with everything they need to grow and thrive. But not all soils are created equal. Some may have too much sand and drain water too quickly. Others might have too much clay and become waterlogged. That's why gardeners often add compost or other organic matter to improve the soil's texture and nutrient content. Each component of soil plays a crucial role in making it the vibrant, living thing it is. It's a fascinating world beneath our feet, teeming with life and supporting the lush greenery above. So, the next time you step on the ground, remember the magical world of soil that lies beneath. Now let's dive into the substances that soil absorbs and how they affect its health. Imagine soil as a great big sponge. It can soak up substances both good and bad. The good stuff like fertilizers are like vitamins for the soil. They provide nutrients that help plants grow strong and healthy. Fertilizers are often added to soil to boost its nutrient content, especially nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium, the three key ingredients for plant growth. But what about the bad stuff? Well, soil can also absorb harmful substances like chemicals or pollutants. These can sneak into the soil from things like litter or pollution. And just like eating too much junk food can make us feel ill, these harmful substances can make the soil unhealthy, affecting the plants that grow in it and the creatures that call it home. Just like us, soil needs the right nutrients to stay healthy. Did you know that not all soils are the same? That's right. Ontario, our beautiful province, is home to a variety of soils each with their own unique qualities, just like us. First, we have sandy soil, light and grainy to the touch. It's like the sand you play with at the beach. This soil is perfect for growing root veggies like carrots because it lets their roots push down easily. Next is loamy soil, a gardener's dream. It's a mix of sand, silt and clay, and it's ideal for growing a wide range of plants. From juicy tomatoes to crunchy cucumbers, loamy soil can do it all. Then, we have clay soil which is heavy and sticky. It's great for plants that need lots of water, like corn. Lastly, there's peat soil, dark and rich in nutrients. It's like a superfood for plants. Different soils for different foods, isn't that fascinating? Ever heard of soil erosion? Let's find out what it is. Soil erosion is like a sneaky thief, quietly stealing away the topmost layer of our soil. This happens when wind, water or even ice moves the soil from one place to another. 
It's a natural process, but sometimes human activities like deforestation and over-farming can speed it up. Now why is this a problem you ask? Well, the top layer of soil is the most nutritious and helps plants grow. Without it, crops can struggle to thrive, and this can impact our food supply. It also affects the habitats of many tiny creatures who call the soil their home. Not just that, when soil gets washed into rivers and streams, it can harm aquatic life and pollute our water systems. But don't worry, there's hope. With careful farming practices and by growing more trees, we can slow down soil erosion. Erosion can be a big problem, but there are ways to prevent it. So, how do we keep our soils healthy and happy? Well, there are many strategies we can use, but one of the most popular is composting. Picture this. We take our kitchen scraps like fruit peels and coffee grounds, and instead of throwing them in the trash, we put them in a compost bin. Over time, these scraps turn into a rich dark substance that's just perfect for feeding our soil. Composting is like cooking a special meal for the soil. It adds nutrients, helps the soil hold on to water, and encourages worms and other helpful creatures to move in. That's a big win for the soil and for us too. But remember, composting isn't the only way to maintain soil health. Crop rotation, cover crops, and reducing tillage are other strategies that can also help keep our soils in top shape. Taking care of our soils is a big job, but it's one we can all help with.